R double O double O T. Yes. I wish to speak to Mr. Foucault with regard to appearing on his television programme. Do what? Well, I'm sure he is my good woman, so am I a very busy man. I've got the whole of Europe to do in the next three weeks. What? Yes, the Prime Minister. Yes. Yes. Producer. Yes, all right, he'll do. Hello? Yes. Ah, you've got my messages. You won't regret it. Shape up well on camera. Speak my mind. Voice of the people. Uh, tomorrow? Yes, yes, seven o'clock. I'll be there for makeup and uh, hospitality. Right, adios for now. Well, that's it, Mrs. Root. We're on the Foucault TV show. I'll tell them. Foucault show? I think I've forgotten to pack the dental floss. Never mind the dental floss. He's the French Wogan. 16 million viewers. Probably not as many as Terry, but never mind. Right, you ready? What for? Law and order. Quiz and pro probe. Bring the camera. Rather likely. Should have had jabs before we left home. Be rabies now, or worse. Police headquarters. P O L I C E. Police. Yeah, pronto. Yeah, police headquarters. We got one here, Mr. Bruce. I'll go in and have a word, explain my purpose. You stay here and set the scene. Set the scene, Henry? Oh, the wide shot, the pan, the sudden zoom, so on. Oh! Henry Root, wet fish. I'm here to look at law and order, if you have it. Pardon? Researching the BBC, catching Charlie at it on the streets. The beret, the striped jerkin, the Gaulois at an angle. The Gaulois? Ah, yes. The French connection can stay on your side of the manche. Merci beaucoup, my great. Capitaine Paulus, s'il vous plaît. Voilà, j'ai un anglais qui a l'air un peu idiot, là, il dit celui de, de la BBC, alors il m'a remis une carte, alors je sais pas ce qu'il veut exactement. Hello, Mr. Woods. Capitano. Friend of Sir Anderson, God's copper. I was just explaining to your sergeant that I'm researching law and order for the PM. You are a BBC? Yes, indeed. And I intend to participate from the back of a patrol car, take an active part in the, the sudden bust, the stop and search, the spread yourself, Gaston, pour favor. I wish to see it for myself. Maybe it's possible, but um, actually, if you come back 5 p.m. for Five us, yes, we have a second shift at uh, this moment, and you can, uh, can uh, come with us uh, to make a trip. Thank you very much, Capitano. Merci yes, beaucoup. Sir. Merci beaucoup. You won't regret this. Naval man, you see. At my best, under pressure. Eyes like a cat. Hi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pardon. Yes, yes, that should hold them, Capitano. Just checking. Yes. Bye. Bonjour for now. Make a civilization. Bye, bye, bye. We have a little patrouille. Ah, d'accord. The BBC is a pêcheur.
You've got trouble with the Liberals, have you? Stirring it up, making hearsay allegations. I don't understand. Inferring that the whole barrel's rotten. My friend Sir Robert Mark once defined a good police force as one that employed fewer criminals than it caught. <laughs> we don't employ criminals, we caught criminals. Of course, of course. Better ten innocent men are banged up for a few years and one guilty one goes free, that's what I say. <laughs> uh, we have um, not any uh, complaints against the police. We have uh, five complaints for one year. You've got a good PR machine working for you, eh? Say no more. There's one. He'll be a student. Pot him, shall we? Did you bring the evidence? No harm in that. Bend the rules a little. Shoot first, take the bribe later. <laughs> Mr. Woods, you will have us or arrested? Us arrested? By who? <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> Yourselves. Can't you see there's a bus stop? Come on, come on, off we go, off we go. No, excuse me, madam, would you mind? There's a bus in progress. Over the road. Good girl. Fingers hang out these days. Fingers? Fingers, you know. Think, think. Think. Uh, um, enlarged head. Wispy beard. Wispy beard? Yeah. Sartre, was it? Sartre. And his companion, de Beauvoir? Les intellectuels, vous voulez dire. Les philosophes? Les philosophes, ah, philosophes. Les philosophes, pas ici, il faut aller sur la rive gauche. La rive gauche, euh, la rive gauche au De Mago. Ah, yeah, de probably them too. Could you, could you write that down? Oui. Les De Mago, c'est dépassé maintenant. Ah bah non, 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 les deux magots, ça a 30 ans, ans. ça a 30 ans, ans. Oh, les deux ah magots, tu vois pas très bien, vous allez très, très bien. Voilà pour comment maintenant on ne peut absolument ah. plus ah. aller aux deux magots pour aller ah. trouver des... Les philosophes, ça n'existe plus, hein. Oui, mais en plus, ça Ah mais tout à fait, tout à fait. Il faut Likely place, Mrs. Root. Get the camera out. Are we on? Action. Audiovisual aid memoir. 
It's Paris now. The left bank, the Dermagot, Sartre, the riots of 68, the baton, and the rubber bullet. The inevitable consequence of ideas in the afternoon. The brain rattling with caffeine and disruptive notions. We know where that leads. To work, Mrs. Root. Cheer up, Marcel. It may never happen. I tell you, Mrs. Root, you could fire a cannoneer and not hit a normal type. Bohemian, the lot of them. Look. Drinking and talking. It must be half past three. Yeah. Let me join this lot here. Blend. And listen in. We are anthropologists in the jungle. And we are captured by a savage tribe of people who give us the choice, will you all die, all perish, all be killed, or will one of you be killed for the others, and then we have to choose. Philosophy, is it, Marcel? Waste of time. Why? Philosophy never got the washing up done. What you Johnnies would do is try and escape. But you're not catching the point. We're talking about the issue, is it right or is it wrong to die? Yeah, it's a damn silly time to discuss it. You're in a swamp, up to your eyes in leeches, surrounded by Indians, and you want to discuss the meaning of life? Nah. Practical intelligence, that's the thing. Now look, Marcel, imagine this. You're six men, stranded, in hostile country. No weapons, no food, and a little Jap's about to shoot you up the arse. It, oh, <laughs> excuse me, Isiguru. The only escape is across a stream. Is your stream. You are here. You need a bucket and a length of rope. You need someone over here to pull the others across. Pierre, you are here. Now, how does Pierre get there? But this is just a riddle. It's not a riddle of Isiguru who's firing at you. Now, come on, Marcel, you're in charge. What would you do? Mm -hmm. I'll throw the bucket at the little jam. Excuse me, is a girl. Yes, you're, you're, you're catching on. Uh, right, one of the others have a try now. Tell us what you'd do, yes. What have we got here? Yes. One bucket and one man, and one, get one, one man across? Pierre's on the other side. It depends. I mean, the war is something that... You already have crossed the river. No, you're not over here. What can we do to keep you busy? In Britain, we make our own entertainment. We don't sit round the table talking after dinner. Practical entertainment. Now, Philippe, would you stand up, please? Francoise, would you stand up, please? Now, I want you to take Philippe's shirt off without removing his jacket. You start here at the back, around there. That's it, start, start just there. And, and pull up. You will amaze your friends with this. Undo a few buttons. That's it. Now, pull it up. Yes, yes, you pull it up and you will be able to take it off without removing his jacket. Hold on, hold on, that's it. Cool. Yes, yes, come, sir. Right up. Right up, that's it. Like that. Right over his head. Uh, hold the hand up. Hold the hand up like that. That's it. Yes, keep pulling. Excellent. There we go. That's it. That's it. I'll come back in a minute, see how you're getting on. Well, what should we do with you? How about spoon dangling? Ever done that? Hanging a spoon from your nose? Watch. Now, you try. Come on. Stick the spoon up your nose. Hang the spoon from your nose, come on. Come on, Gaston, try. Stick it on your nose. That's it, that's it. Go on, Isiguro. <laughs> Stick it right on. Right. Oh, try again, try again. It's all a matter of balance and concentration. Mrs. Root? Keep them busy, that's the thing. Idle hands make trouble. They'll not riot again. Oh, excuse me, I must just uh, pay a visit before we go. You're right out of luck, madam. Oi, Marcel. Someone's had it away with a job. You'll never believe this, Mrs. Root. Some buggers nicked the toilet. Just shows you can't trust an intellectual. Come on. Three, two, one.
Bonsoir. Bonsoir à toutes et à tous. Bienvenue à Sacré Soirée sur TF1 comme chaque semaine. Nous allons recevoir deux voisins. Deux voisins britanniques, pas n'importe lesquels, car ils sont représentants ouais, ça, du Premier ouais, ministre ouais. britannique. Et c'est pourquoi je vous demande, sans plus attendre, de les accueillir. Voici Madame et Monsieur Root à sa soirée. Mrs. and Mr. Root. Bonsoir, Madame. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Soyez les bienvenus à Sacré Soirée. Good evening. Bonsoir madame, bonsoir monsieur, asseyez-vous. Bonsoir monsieur Roth. Je suis très heureux de vous accueillir à Sacré Soirée. Alors je vais vous demander un petit artifice pour qu'on puisse se comprendre, parce que c'est vrai qu'avec l'Europe, il y a toujours euh, la barrière euh, de la langue. Alors il faut que je vous présente monsieur Roth. Monsieur Roth est, euh, et c'est lui-même qui le dit, l'homme... Ok Attends. Can I help you Right. <rire> Monsieur Roux se dépeint lui-même comme étant ministre sans portefeuille du, du premier ministre euh, britannique, c'est ça Oh, well, to be more accurate, I'm his um, cultural attaché. Uh -huh. Seconded to compare the continental mores with our own. You see, it strikes me that post-1992, there will be no French, German or Dutch culture per se as such. It will be a European culture. Jusque là, je comprends bien. Mais aidez-moi, qu'est-ce que ce sera comme culture uh, Well, that's a bit of a conundrum, Jean-Pierre. Um, a mix, uh, a mélange, uh, a stew, a hot pot. Uh, the meat and potatoes will come from Britain, obviously, and the uh, condiments uh, from the others. Est-ce que, à part moi et vous, est-ce que quelqu'un d'autre est au courant de ça Parce que c'est quand même important ce que vous nous dites là. Uh, they soon will know. Uh, with my colleague Branson, uh, I propose to mount a festival of European culture. Uh, at a suitable locale, possibly in France. Uh, but what I have in mind is a, a, a large field with stalls and competing tents, um, comparing cultures. D'accord, ça, ça a l'air, moi je dis passionnant, mais est-ce que vous pourriez m'éclairer et nous donner quelques exemples uh, Yes, certainly. Um, um, as far as we are concerned, it will be uh, the best of British. There will oui. be the Yorkshire pudding tent. Uh, the Oxford marmalade tent. The, the British sausage. Hey, you, you, you could have a pâté tent, a, a display of garlic, uh, very good for hemorrhoids, so I'm told. You think it's not that we could represent the French culture française by Racine, Molière, the comedy française? They're actors, are they? Yes, very good too, I dare say. No, I have to, I have to say that Britain leads the way in this. You see, take, take, your, take your game, for instance. Oui. Television. La télévision, bon. Now, we do it better. Uh, you know uh, Esther Ransom? You know her? Uh -huh. Oh, well, you, you get her with heart swap rabbits, abused tots interspersed with song and dance, and, um, and carrots, garden carrots. <laughs> Pardon my French, Jean-Pierre. Garden carrots shaped like the male member. Oui, bon. Ça a l'air, ça a l'air, un petit problème avec votre petite, petite... Ça a l'air passionnant, mais, messieurs, tout ce que nous entendons, hein. Alors, la question que je vais vous poser, c'est quand ce festival aura-t-il lieu, première chose, et deuxième chose, qui paye hein, le financement Ah, finance. Uh -huh. uh, well, well, the French, the French could contribute to it themselves, and uh, a man like you must know where the money is buried. I mean, in on the ground floor, on very good terms. Pourquoi vous n'allez pas à Bruxelles Puisque quand même, l'Europe, le cœur, le poumon de l'Europe, c'est Bruxelles. Alors pourquoi vous ne partez pas pour Bruxelles pour demander euh, euh, des subventions à la Commission européenne Brussels, eh? Oui. Well, that's, that's an idea, Mrs. Root. Uh, put it on the list. Uh, uh, Belgium, yes? Belgique, oui, c'est ça. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Jean-Pierre. It's, it's been a great pleasure to talk to you. You are a uh, same voice. Vous êtes vraiment un bon. I'm looking again on my way back through France. Merci beaucoup, mesdames et messieurs. Vous applaudissez, Monsieur Root. Merci. Thank you. Merci, madame.
Bonjour. Very sorry to be going. Bonne route. Bonne vacances. Oh, okay. Bye bye. Bye. Bon voyage. Bye. 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 Pardon, madame. Pardon, rien. C'est OK. C'est bon. C'est bon. Arrêtez-vous. 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 Too encouraging so far, Mrs. Root. We're more or less lost, I'd say. We better stop and ask the way. The language won't be a problem here. I gather your Belgians aren't numbered four to one by your English speaking Eurocrat. Eurocrat, Henry? Uh, the freeloaders, Mrs. Root. Fat men on the gravy train. Hands deep in the Euro trough. Wasps round the honey pot. Subsidies and so forth. The backhanders. The lunchtime favours. The fix. The vat. Nothing wrong with that, of course. We'll have some of that. Were we so Britain, we'll be of their number. Ah, oh, here's someone, we'll ask him. Pardon me, Gaston. Could you direct me to the common market? The what? The common market. Su Where? Supermarkets? No, 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 common market, quo vadis. Though, it's the co common market. Ah, the European Commission. Um... Wacht, als je hier rechtdoor rijdt, hè? Ah, wel, als je hier rechtdoor rijdt, hè? Je draait rond het plein mee rond. En dan rechtdoor, dan komen de twee straten voorbij, zijn de verkeerslichten. Oversteken en rechts. Yeah, thank you very much. Ja? Oké, okay, goeie dag, hè? Just our luck, Mrs. Root, to get a Norwegian. He'd have been a Walloon, Henry. All Belgians are Walloons. Come, come, Mrs. Root. You surprise me. A bit sweeping, that. Not fair to generalize. Live and let live. Oh, I don't know, though. You could be right. <laughs> there you are, Mrs. Root. Euro HQ, the Burley Mott. Are we going to reach there, Henry? Uh, We'll, we'll park here and cut through. Getting closer, Mrs. Root. All we need to do now is cross the road. We go under. Ah. Probably not meant to reach it from here. We'll come in from another angle. Simple. 
Henry Root, wet fish. As seen on television last night. Jean-Pierre Foucault, my card. I represent myself and Branson in Re the Root European Festival of Comparative Cultures. Mr. Branson? Yes, you know. Round the world in a balloon. Psh, psh. Cross the Atlantic in a bucket. <laughs> I'm here for funding. Kindly tell Sir Britain I'm in the vestibule. Well, chop, chop, my good man. Just our luck, Mrs. Root. We've drawn a balloon here. Milan. Et ils sont un peu bizarres, je ne sais pas pourquoi qu'ils veulent monter dans le bâtiment. Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Est-ce que vous avez une carte ou un laissez-passer Pardon Une carte ou un laissez-passer Non, 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 je l'ai déclaré avec le garçon dans le bâtiment. Je suis ici pour voir Sir Britain, de la Britain. Non, c'est pas possible. Non, c'est pas possible. Je suis anglais. Non, c'est pas possible. Pourquoi pas Quel papier J'ai des papiers. Non, c'est pas possible. Ok, merci, je vais les montrer chez M. Martin. Hello, Ben Gray. How can I help you? Henry Root, wet fish. And uh, this is the lady wife. Nice to meet you. Actually, I was just telling the balloon over there that I'm here to see Sir Britain about funding for the Festival of European Culture. Ah, uh, I'm afraid Sir Britain is away for the week, sir. Uh -huh. Way on the gravy train, is he? <laughs> He'll have fallen on his feet. So, uh, is there anyone else in? Well, Bill Martin normally deals with this sort of thing. Who is he? He's the head of unit for the dissemination of information on the internal market for 1992. That's seconded to DG10, which deals with communication, information and culture. Yeah, he'll do. OK, I'm afraid um, he's in a seminar just now, but you should be able to see him during the break. Well, I hope it won't be too long. I'm a very busy man. I'm aiming to make Spain the day after tomorrow. So let's go, shall we? Follow me. Yeah, which way? I'm afraid we'll have to get past this oh, first, right. sir. This passes. way. Oh, it's a very big place, isn't it? Well, we have 18,000 people working for the Commission. They're split into 22 departments. We like to call them directorate generals. Pardon me? Henry Root. Wet fish. As seen on television. I'm looking for Sir Britain, the little Lithuanian. Ah. Oh, no. I'm in Bill Martin's department. That's, that's DG10. We do the culture, the communication, the information, and the audiovisual side. Oh. That's what you do, is it? Um... Specifically, I'm involved in the dissemination of information for the internal market in 1992. The idea is that in 1992, all barriers will drop and all trade will be harmonised, as will the movement of people, goods and capital. My husband says that all our plugs are going to need changing. Ah, uh, well, I don't know very much about that. You'll have to go and see somebody in DG3. Now, that's a directorate general that is responsible for the internal market specifically. What is going to happen is that all your electrical goods will be harmonized to a community-wide standard. Oh, I see. On the other hand, if you're talking about your electrical supply, yes. then you better go and see somebody in DG17, because that's the DG that's in charge of all the energy. DG17? DG17. And plugs come under that? Um, no, plugs come under DG3. Oh, it's very complicated, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Well, it all seems very efficient. I'm sure you know what you're doing, dear. Well, it's a wee bit too efficient, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, we all have to leave here soon because the building doesn't conform to the European health and safety regulations set by DG5. We'll be tearing the whole place down soon. It's the asbestos, you see. Oh, dear. Henry, Ben's just been telling me about the asbestos. How enthralling, Mrs. Root. Would you like to step this way, please? Actually, it is a bit boring. That's the seminar room over there. If you'd just like to wait for a minute, I'll find out when the break is. Excuse me. Can you tell me the break in Bill Martin's seminar is, please? Can you be finished in ten minutes? In ten minutes. I'll have to make it ten o'clock. OK, thank you very much. Et là, on voit les quatre libertés. La liberté de circulation des marchandises, des personnes, euh, bon, des services et des capitaux. Henry Root, wet fish. As seen on television. This is the lady wife. Don't mind us, Bill. We'll, uh, we'll sit in on this one. Bon, um, on a un visiteur, uh, un peu tard. Uh, J'arrête pour deux minutes pendant il prend place. This one there. Uh... Yeah, could, you, could you all budge up one? Just, 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 yeah. Thanks. There we are, Mrs. Root. 
Vous êtes au peine. Bon, alors, euh, on voit ici que ce que j'ai raconté, c'est les quatre libertés. Ça, c'est déjà assuré. Pour le marchandise, ça va très bien. Il est fini, je t'ai I'm here for funding. Roots Festival of European Culture. Mark Hard. Foucault's in. He's one of yours. Sacré soirée. Up the 39 steps and down. Onto the set I expect you saw me. You're talking in French, is he? Yes. That's a bit rum. Et là, on voit, je pense, trois choses qui sont fondamentales. Hello. Merci. 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 On voit certaines grandes. Je n'ai pas fini. Oh, good. Thank God for that. En faisant le topo de notre sujet, vous êtes inspiré et vous êtes, vous allez travailler bien pour notre avenir. Je vous en remercie pour votre attention. C'était oh. ma part très intéressant. Et toutes vos questions étaient très bien accueillies et je vous souhaite une très bonne journée. Merci. Again, if you'd like to come outside, I'll introduce you to Mr. Martin now. Right. Thank you. Can we keep these? Yes, yes. Hello, Mr. Martin. This is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Root. They're traveling around Europe, and Mr. Root's here looking for funding for a hello. European festival of culture. Well, Mr. Root, how are you? How do you do? Nice to meet you. Mrs. Root, hello. I enjoyed your lecture. Thank you. Well, I don't know why it was in French, but uh, I'm sure you know your business best. And uh, what, uh, what was it on? Well, it was all about 1992 and the opportunities that 1992 present for all businessmen throughout Europe. I mean, it was in French today because that particular group happened to be coming from France. Giving them the odds, eh? A little bit off, surely. I mean, appraising the competition of the Dodgers. Well, I don't think you should see things in those terms. We're Europeans first and foremost, and then we're French, and then we're English. I mean, the old nationalism has to go. We're that Europeans. is exactly why I'm here. I am promoting a festival of European culture, and it ties in nicely with your point that there'll not be an Englishman as such post-1992, nor a Frenchman either, I'm glad to say. Equally, there'll be no such thing as French or English culture. It'll be a new concept, Bill an original cocktail, the ingredients of which have not yet been defined. I mean, will the English sausage prevail against the French baguette? Will it be Umberdink or Asnavour? The bouncing Basque or the Keening Scot? The little chef or the Tour d'Argent? Well, there's some very interesting ideas that you've just come up with there, Mr. Root, but uh, you must understand that tomorrow's Europe is about opportunity. We have to cast off the old traditions and look forward to the new. And that's what I'm looking for in any submission you make to me. I will not be left behind. If that's where the money is, I'm a new European. I'll have my hand in the Euro honeypot. I'll be on the gravy train. Uh, now, gravy train is not a word we use around here, oh. Mr. Root. I mean, budgets are limited. Europe is about blood, sweat and tears. And so don't run away with any illusions. And, you know, we do have thousands of proposals a year, and I particularly receive many on cultural festivals. I just can't write checks like that. Well, who can? I mean, I haven't driven 200 miles to meet the monkey. It's the organ grinder I'm after. Oh, oh no offence, Bill. I'm sure you do your job very well according to your lights. Well, look, Mr. Root, I am a little bit busy at the moment, but there's my card, there's my address, there's my office number. Please send me what you want to tell me in writing, and I will do my best for you. Right. It could I have one of those brochures? Well, please, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, you'd like a brochure, Mrs. Root? Oh, yes, I would. Uh, one of those um, hats. Too. Yes, surely. Go oh, ahead, please. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, they are nice. Are those stickers? Uh, they are indeed. Yeah. Um, could, I, could I have some of those? Well, of course. Please. Do, do you have any pens? Pens? pens. Uh, let me look. Uh, I think uh, we might be out of pens, but I'll uh, have someone look after right, you. Thank you. But I'm in a little bit of a rush now. I'll have my secretary take care of you on the pens. Oh, right. That's nice meeting you, Mr. Root. Mrs. Root, pleasure. All the very best. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you very much.
Henry, can we get a taxi back to the car? Certainly not, Mrs. Root. Stroll will do us good. And walk like a new European, for goodness sake. Head up, toes turned out, the future's ours. Perhaps you're right. Taxi! We'll, uh, we'll bring them up to date with the latest thing in Brussels, Mrs. Root. Bring the stuff. What are they doing? Truffle hunting, Mrs. Root. that Englishman would use for miles around. Englishman, Henry? Thought we were all Europeans now. Yep, so we are, Mrs. Root, so we are. Let's, uh, let's hand out some of this stuff. May I give you a European hat, madam? Uh, yeah. European hat, there we are, the flag. Nice fa oh, look, look here. Ah! Henry Root. We. Oui. Wet fish. How are we? How do you do? Uh, me, me, me too. Me Are too. We? Yeah, yeah. 1992. You won't be able to do this. No chucking them in the dustbin. We have to get a deep freeze. Freezer. We. Yeah. Frozen fish. We. That's how I started. Two small freezers. Never looked back during the Cod War. No. Carry on. Carry on. There we are, madame. Are you off for Europe? You. <laughs> nice hat for you, madame. Yes. You have to grow bigger radishes in 1992. No more subsidies. Flag for Europe, my dear. You know, stick that in your potatoes. You read that, tell you all about 1992. What's going to happen? There are turns here, Mrs. Root. will be profitably displayed in a tent in Remar Festival of Culture. It's all so lovely, Henry. Seems a shame to break it up. You could be right. Keep it as it is. Freeze it in time. Bottle their habits. There's money in conservation. Keep it as a model village for the punters from the auto route. Tableau with the fat mare with the braces, the crafty peasants, the berets. Yes, could be a permanent attraction, a living Pompeii. Stick in a couple of decent toilets and a happy eater, and we'd be away. Opportunity for Sir Forty. Eh? Uh, oh, what's the trouble here? Oui. 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 Can I help? I know fish. Uh, very good of you, I'm sure, but uh, I can manage. Thank He's you. one of ours! 
Amy, Amy Root. Uh, wet fish. Jeffrey Bernstein. Uh, this is the do do uh, lady wife, uh, Muriel. How do you do? Vous m'avez quatre, oui? Fellow Europeans, you and I. Combien ça pèse? Ça pèse combien? Your first time in France. No, we've had a house here for a number of years. Oh, have you? Yes. Do you know where I get hold of a copy of the Daily Telegraph? I'm sorry, I don't. Combien? 40 francs le kilo. 40 francs le kilo, oui. bon. Trout for tea, eh? Merci. 40 francs 80. Eh? Bien, au revoir, voilà. monsieur. Merci. Very nice. Jeffrey? Jeffrey, I'm planning a festival of European culture. Oh, really? Branson's in, Foucault's in, you know him? And the EEC are the official sponsors. You see, this whole village could become a rural theme park. Come 1992, there'll be no such thing as a Frenchman. That's the thinking in Brussels. No such thing as an Englishman trying to be a Frenchman either, come to that. A bit annoying for you, I suppose. 30 years trying to become something that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Back to square one. Oh, well, that's life, Geoffrey. Here, look, let me give you a brochure. Oh, this is a nice place. Mrs. Brooke, get the video camera out. We'll have a, have a little picture taken. Oh, hang on. Oh, Pierre, Pierre, perhaps you'll be kind enough to do it. Just press the button and look through. Yeah, yeah. 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 Come on, Geoffrey. Come on. Right. Round the other side, Mrs. Root. No, no, come on. Come on, smile. Smile. That's it. <laughs> wave, wave the fish. Wave the fish. That's it. Go on. <laughs> That's it. Lovely. Well done. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, right, Jeffrey. Thank you. Avec plaisir. Oh, there'll be a place in the tableau for you, Pierre. Believe you me. When my friend Branson comes out here and sees this lovely place, you know, you know Branson. Branson. The, the, psh, yeah, he'll come out here and turn this place into a rural theme park. A lot of money, you know. Yes, yes, he'll buy the whole place up. Bonjour. Oui, bonjour, monsieur. You've got a T-shirt here for someone. Have a T-shirt. There we are. There we are. And another, another hat. There we are. And another hat. Oh, yes. That's a Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a barn. Oh, yes, he can convert that. That's very nice. Yes. Oh, yes, he'll love this. Oh, Hi, Jeffrey. I'd like to stay and chat. We've got to get to Spain. Looking on the way back with Sir Forty or Branson. Bye bye. Uh, where's the car, Mr. Drew? Oh, over here. Revien gentil, Rossignol, Rossignol, Rossignol! <laughs> Gave them something to think about, Mrs. Root. They seem pleased enough. So they should be. They'll have amenities undreamt of hitherto. Arrêtez-vous, arrêtez-vous, je vous en prie. Oh, no, 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 Damn near got us that time, Mrs. Root. Wish I'd brought some regional produit. I really like that village, Henry. It was ever so picturesque. Yes, so it was in its way, Mrs. Root. But you'll learn more about the future of Europe on the auto route than you would tramping across a field or watching fat men play ball. I'm not sure I agree with you, Henry. Do what, woman? The auto route, as it happens, is New Europe in a nutshell. Homogenised, you see. We could be anywhere. None of your local colour here, I'm glad to say. 
In 20 years' time, the whole of Europe will be like this. You won't know Somerset from Brussels. One giant motorway facilitating commerce. And amenities like this for Eurocrats every 10 kilometres. I think we'll pull in here and stay the night. There you are, Mrs. Root. Get your regional prodwee here. Bonjour, messieurs, dames. Souhaitez vous goûter nos produits régionaux, madame? Qui? A new European could live here, I tell you. You couldn't swing a cat and not hit an amenity. Pipe music, Euro bar, an executive grill room, serving decent Euro food, an adjacent piscine, and a tumble by the bed, I'd say, for the Euro-Englishman to keep his teeth in overnight. But we could be in Birmingham, Henry. My point precisely, Mrs. Root. Well done. Thank you. First time I've eaten in France without blowing up like a rubber dinghy, Mrs. Root. A Euro tycoon could run his business from here without leaving the executive lounge. Homogenization, that's the thing. So I suppose you'll be glad when Isha's homogenized, Henry. I was referring merely to your continental Europe, Mrs. Root. Your Gauls, your Latins, your little Greeks. They're the ones who need homogenizing. Well, I think I preferred our hotel in Paris, Henry. At least it had some character. So Stonehenge, but you wouldn't want to stay there. At the end of the day, what your new European wants is smart technology at his fingertips. Into bed, head down, sleep like a log. With the lights on, Henry. Just a matter of mastering the switchboard, Mrs. Root. Ah! There we are. Good night. Oh. Oh, spoke too soon. Euroburgers come back. What are you doing, Mrs. Root? Reading, Henry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 